Hi everyone, this is Ty Williams. How everyone's doing today? I like to do a psychic reading on Steph Rowland. If you don't know who Steph Rowland is, Steph Rowland is a WWE superstar. And also, he is engaged to WWE woman wrestler Becky Lynch. And I'm going to do a reading around the relationship and him becoming a dad and also him to becoming a husband to Becky Lynch and also what's going to happen in his career in WWE and also his obsession with Kenny Omega slash jealousy. So let's get started with the first one. So the first one is him being a dad, fatherhood. What I'm seeing with Steph is that he will love this child. He will adore this child. This child will change him to be the better person that he is. I do see that he changed a lot recently. I do see that he's stepping up to be a leader and he's starting to become more fragile with other people's opinions. But however, I feel like he's starting to become a great dad and a great father to his kid. Uh, I don't know the update between um, the gender, but Spirit told me he got to be a boy. I will give a boy, if not a girl, but Spirit told me it's a boy. That is what I see. Um, I do feel like he is talking to wrestlers who already is dads and what it's like to be a dad. And I feel like he's nervous because him being a father is terrifying because he's like, I never see myself as a father. But everything is changing and everything is growing. Like I feel like since the quarantine, He's starting to be more mellow. He's starting to be more um, not into the drama, but he's trying to be the leader of the pack. Because I know that in the past, he's an egotistical B-I-T-C-H. You know that spell, right? But now, since he's a father, he's more... When he, when he become a father, you'll see him changing. You'll see him having more fun and more like a cool um, energy about him. Um, marriage. Um, if, if Steph Rowland and Becky Lynch is already married, they probably be married in a private ceremony that no one knows. If not, it's the same thing. I feel like Becky Lynch and Steph Rowland gonna invite certain people close friends and family that witness of their wedding. Like, I do see there is a wedding. I do see them getting married in the Oscars of 
by the sea, like a cliff, like water. It could be Becky Lynch's hometown or somewhere that is very included. And they are just um, standing by the sea and there is wedding pictures. Um, that That's what I see. Um, Steph Rowland's career in WWE. What I'm seeing with Steph Rollins is that he is trying his best to make himself at the top guy since his, his soon to be wife is out of the picture because she is carrying their children, their child, and he has to step it up and make it more interesting. The interesting part is that Steph Rollins is trying to copy Kenny Omega's ways, like his face expression, the way he do his face, the way he moves his hands like Kenny Omega. And it's something very weird of Steph Rowland trying to do that. The Bullet Club Kenny Omega way. And that is not going to work. If I was Steph Rowland's. He need to stop copying Kenny Omega in the way he do things like Kenny Omega. I understand that he's very obsessive with Kenny Omega and even jealous of Kenny Omega because the way I'm seeing with stuff obsessing with Kenny Omega it's like Steph see Kenny Omega not the best because he think that he is the best. I have no problem with you, Steph, but I do see that you think that you're the best of the world. That's I'm, I'm going to keep it real. I do see that you think that you're the best over the world, but however, you are very jealous of Kenny Omega's attention. Like, you are successful, he is successful. And I feel like Steph want people attention. And, and I think that's why he's copying Kenny Omega's moveset his face expression, his hand gesture, his happy feet, and trying to pick up his Kenny Omega persona, like uh, the gamer, um, like, you know how Kenny Omega is. And I feel that there is like a similarities of how Steph do things that is similar to Kenny Omega. And I feel like, to be honest with you, he really, he doesn't like Kenny Omega. That's what I'm getting. He, like Steph Rowland really doesn't like Kenny Omega. Because I feel like Kenny Omega take his attention and everything away from him. And I feel like when the Amlos, known as John Mossley, left WWE, Steph Rowland blamed Kenny Omega. That is what I'm saying. 
like, he's like, Kenny Omega took everything that I worked for out of my hands. That is what I see. And, and I feel that Steph do need to work things out with Kenny Omega and why he doesn't like him, that's one, and why he obsessed and jealous of him. But I do see that he is obsessed with Kenny Omega because Kenny Omega have this connection with people. You could love or hate Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega always get people talking and always get people watching and listening to him. It's like Kenny Omega could do an interview. He will get like 10 million views in one day. Because Kenny Omega, he's not a talker outside the ring. And people forgot that Kenny Omega is an awesome character outside of America. Like, Kenny Omega is not the best in America, but he's the best in the world. If you watch his matches in Japan and Mexico, Kenny Omega got that special niche, that special light that Steph Rowland wants and Steph Rowland don't have. That natural charisma, that natural skill, and people think that, oh, can you make it suck? He couldn't do this. He couldn't do that. Just wait till AEW book him right, okay? Wait. He is book. He is book. If you look at Triple A, he is book good. If you look at New Japan Pro Wrestling and DDT Pro Wrestling, he is gold. He is funny. It's that natural charisma. And I feel like Steph Rowland doesn't have the Kenny Omega charisma, but he have Steph Rowland have a drive that Kenny Omega don't have. Like if Steph Rowland wants something, he fight for it. He crawls and trash and stab anyone to get what he wants. That's why I feel like Steph Rowland had that ambition that people love and respect. I feel like Steph is not good talking to Mike or have that charisma, but since he can become a father and a husband to Becky Lynch, and I believe Becky Lynch is helping help him out to come out of his shell, to be relaxed, be himself, and that's what I see with Steph Rollins is that he is going to be himself, and he's going to be very honest with himself. And I do see that he's reflecting on lots of things, that he got to be, be reflecting of him being a dad and being a husband. Also, he's sitting back and like, I need to stop being obsessive with other people who are better than me. I need to stop being a dramatic person and start working with people in the end. 
That is what I see with Steph Rowland. Um, in his career, I feel that he going to do lots of interesting things in WWE. I feel like WWE is looking after Steph Rollins. I do see that the WWE is working well with Steph Rollins when it comes to the factor. Because I think that they discover his strengths and weaknesses in WWE. And I feel like Steph Rollins' weaknesses is that he's not a good solo performer. He has to be in the factor. And the factor is his strong, strongest. And I do believe that he is building a strong foundation of him being the top guy or the top heel. And I feel like he's going to work of him being the top heel. That's what I'm seeing. Um, next year, I think next year going to be a very interesting year for him next year. Um, I feel like he's getting his thing. I see, okay, this is what I see, you guys. He always want to wrestle Kenny Omega one-on-one. In WWE, and despite he doesn't like Kenny Omega, it's like he had to prove the point that he is better than Kenny Omega. That is what I see, and I think that is interesting. So That being said, this is Ty Williams. Good day and goodbye.